Hi, and welcome to the Alitech TCP Converter Overview. My name is Ken Buck, and I am a Solution Architect for Alitech. The Alitech TCP Converter is designed to enable card-based features like authentication and pull printing on devices which do not have support for the direct connection of a USB proximity card reader. For example, single function printers which do not have a USB host receptacle where the reader can be plugged in. To enable printing on these devices, the card reader connects directly to the TCP converter and when a card is swiped, the converter will then send card data directly to the authentication server. In this way, card data completely bypasses the single function printer. As a result, the TCP converter can work with network printers from any printer manufacturer. The converter will require two IP addresses from the customer's network, one for the converter itself and one for the printer which is connected to it. The TCP converter can be discovered on the network and configured using the TCP configuration tool supplied by Alitech. Numerous document management solutions are available to recognize and communicate with the TCP converter for authentication and for the release of held print jobs. Our list of document management solution partners can be supplied upon request. We also offer the ability to install custom inlays so the converter can display your custom logo or other defining graphics. Contact us for details on this service. We offer the TCP converter at a very competitive price. Feel free to contact us for a quote. This slide shows how the TCP converter fits into the environment. The converter connects directly to the network using the customer's network drop previously used by the printer. The converter is default configured for DHCP so it will retrieve its IP address from the customer's DHCP server. The printer now connects to the TCP converter and since the converter behaves as a network switch the printer will still communicate with the customer's DHCP server to retrieve its IP address. In this way one customer IP address is used by the converter and one for the printer. The card reader connects to the converter which will send card data directly to the authentication server. The next few slides will explain in more detail how the TCP converter works. This first slide is a simplified view of direct IP printing where a user sends print jobs directly from their workstation to a printer. Let's assume this is the situation before proximity card based printing is introduced into the environment. In this view there are four players, the administrator, desktop user, DHCP server, and printer. At power up, the printer receives its IP address from the customer's DHCP server and uses the host name of Printer 5 Easy. The administrator can configure the printer from the printer's web page at the standard HTTP port 80. The print driver on the user's workstation is configured to print via host name and at print time will contact the domain name server, also known as the DNS server, to learn the IP address of the printer. If the user's print driver is using LPR printing, it will send jobs directly to the printer via port 9100. In this slide, we introduce the TCP converter into the environment. In this view, there are now seven players, the administrator, desktop user, DHCP server, printer, TCP converter, card reader, and an authentication server. For this example, let's configure both the TCP converter and the connected printer to use DHCP to retrieve their IP addresses. Let's assign the TCP converter with the hostname TCPCon1, while the printer retains its hostname of Printer5EZ. Let's further assume that the DHCP server has configured to always assign IP addresses as shown. Next, the TCP converter will be configured with the IP address and port number to be used for communication with the authentication server. In this example, the server has an address of 192.168.199 and will use port 7778 for authentication related communication. This example further assumes that the authentication server is also responsible for accounting and it might want to retrieve meter data from the printer which could be used for accounting purposes. It will do this using SNMP on port 161. Note that the printer uses port 80 to host its web page, 
but the TCP converter does not have a web page. The user's print driver would be typically reconfigured to send print jobs to the authentication or pull print server where they would be held until the user's employee badge is detected at the card reader. Print driver might also be reconfigured to hold jobs on the desktop print queue for later release by the pull print server. This slide is focused on power up and the normal activities done by the system administrator. At power up, the TCP converter will retrieve its IP address from the customer's DHCP server. At power up, the printer will retrieve its IP address from the DHCP server via the TCP converter. Since there is a static reservation for both devices, they will always receive the same IP address. The TCP converter behaves as a network switch, so any traffic between the printer and the building network passes through the converter without alteration. If the administrator wishes to configure any settings on the printer, they could use the hostname of Printer5Easy or via its reserved IP address. If the administrator wishes to change any configuration options on the TCP converter, this can be done via the TC configuration software provided by Alitech. The authentication server is configured with a permanent static IP address of 192.168.1.99. You will note there is a permanent reservation on the DHCP server, so this address will not be assigned to any other device. This slide is focused on card-based authentication and the release of the user's print jobs. For this example, we will assume the solution provider has configured the authentication server with all of the necessary information to link the user's employee badge with their name and any other required credentials. We further assume that the system has been configured to either host, hold the user's print jobs on their desktop or to hold them in the server's print queue. This behavior is really dependent on the actual authentication and printing solution deployed. In either case, we will assume that the user has queued up some jobs which need to be printed. We will assume that the authentication server has been configured to associate the TCP converter with the attached printer, and that way when an employee badge is presented, the server will know which printer to send the jobs to. When the user arrives at the printer and swipes their badge, the TCP converter sends the badge number to the authentication server. The server uses the badge number to discover the cardholder's name, and depending on how the solution works, it either searches through the server's print queue or it may reach out to the desktop print queue to release all the user's print jobs. These jobs are then sent to the TCP converter, which forwards them along to the connected printer. Some authentication solutions read meters within the printer before the job starts printing and after the job is complete. It uses the difference between those two values to determine how many pages were actually printed. In this example, the authentication server reaches out to the printer to read its billing meters and the TCP converter passes SNMP traffic to the printer using port 161 so the meters can be read. This completes the flow of events for card-based card release of printing of held jobs. In summary, we have shown how the TCP converter can be used to enable card-based features like authentication and pull printing on devices which do not have support for the connection of a USB proximity card reader. The TCP converter can work with network printers from any printer manufacturer. The TCP converter is offered with competitive pricing, contact us for a quote, or to get answers to any questions you may have. Thank you for watching and listening to this presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via phone or email. Shown here is our contact information for the U.S. and for the rest of the world. Also shown is our email address for any support questions you may have. Thanks again for watching.